In this MathCast, we show how to use GeoGebra to do linear programming. In this second MathCast on linear programming with GeoGebra, our constraints are x greater than or equal to 3 and less than or equal to 12, y greater than or equal to 4 and less than or equal to 15, and x plus y must be less than or equal to 20. Our objective function is to maximize the point function 10x plus 25y. Let's do this with GeoGebra. So the first constraint is actually two constraints. One is that x must be greater than 3, and the other is that x must be less than 12. So we type both of those in as equalities down here in the input bar. Click in the input bar. Now we have x equal to 3, and then x equal to 12. We'll zoom out in a minute. The second constraint is again two constraints. We have y must be greater than or equal to 4 and y must be less than or equal to 15. We type both of those in as equalities. So y equals 4 and hit enter and y equals 15 and hit enter. Now let's zoom out and find that area. So we put our mouse pointer in the drawing pad and we back up until we see it, right? move down. This is going to be our area, so we can widen it up a little bit, move it up. Right. So we're going to be in this rectangle. Now let's put our fifth constraint in, which says that x plus y has to be less than or equal to 20. Again, we type it in as inequality. Go down to the input bar and click x plus y equal to 20. Now, as always, we substitute a point not on the line. As long as 0, 0 is not on the line, we use 0, 0. So the question is, is 0 plus 0 less than or equal to 20? Yes. So we're shading down below this line. So let's mark this area right here, which is where we're at. Let's get all the intersection points there. So we want this intersection point, this intersection point, this intersection point, this intersection point, and this one. We'll make a polygon there and then we'll test these five points in our objective function. So let's make our polygon A, B, C, D, E, and A. Let's turn off all the labeling, make everything colored, and we'll test our function. So now we need to test our objective function for A, B, C, D, and E. We'll use the same technique as last time. We have P, A. We erase that stuff, just press delete. Equals 10 times X of capital A plus 25 times Y of capital A. And before we hit enter, we press shift, home, and we copy that. Now we hit enter. There's our first value, 130. That's how many points he would get if he did exactly three of matching tests and four of essay problems. We are still in the input bar here. We click Control V and we change all of these to B, capital B. Hit enter. There's 405, so he gets a lot more points on B. Now we'll try C. Always remember capitals. Hit enter. 425, he gets even more points here in C. We want D. D and D. Hit enter. Let's see. Where did that go? It must have gone down here. 320, so he's getting less points now. And our last one is E. So, control paste. Capital E. Capital E and capital E and delete that, like that. And there they are. And we can see that the maximum is at C at this point. C, so what is the X and Y coordinates of C? X is 5 and Y is 15. So in summary, we have this result. And we want to thank you for listening to this MathCast.